Hello dear students, as I told earlier that I will be going to start the topic that is apiculture. So apiculture, we know it is in a Latin term where api means uh, the honeybees and culture means uh, rearing. So this is the one of the topic from the paper one uh, of applied zoology. Apiculture is one of the very important uh, topic from the applied zoology. Where apiculture means literally means the bee keepings. Okay, it is a honeybee keeping. Then, or the rearing of the honeybees is called as apiculture. So, what is this? The I told you that is it is an a Latin term where the apis means the honeybees and culture to uh, rear. Now, as it is one of the most important uh, uh, topic in the applied zoology, the apiculture is one of the uh, method which is used or employed for the production of the uh, honeybee then apart from that you can produce the bee wax it is also most importantly uh, used for the pollination purpose and as well as the royal substances like the royal jelly etc now if you go for the definition of this apiculture apiculture is nothing but the rearing of the honeybees for the commercial production of uh, honeybees Okay, rearing of the honeybees for the commercial production of the honey. Is it clear? That is called as the apiculture. Now, India was not much popular in the earlier days in apiculture, or it is uh, least interested in apiculture because of maybe uh, easily available of honeys in the Indian uh, societies. But if you go for the uh, for other uh, nations. That is, for example, the United States of America, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. They have done a very outstanding or very much uh, work on the apiculture and they are leading in this uh, commercial production of the honey. But recently, if we go for this one apiculture, India has also taken a much more interest in the field of apiculture and they are also rearing for the commercial production of the honey from the honeybees. Now, the if you go for the systematic position of the uh, honeybees is it clear you know already uh, that is uh, it belongs to the kingdom animalia then the group invertebrata phylum arthropoda class insecta uh, then subclass subclass pterygota endopterygota hymenoptera then the family apidae genus apis and species there are different species here genus apis dorseta apis indica apis flore apis mellifera now we know that the uh, honeybees are social insects okay they are the social insects of the social organisms now the organism which have the uh, very well uh, managed colonies uh, well managed or well balanced or well functional colonies with a group of uh, different functional members then we call them as the social uh, organization or the social organisms to the members the in this social organization each members or the individuals of the hive or the colony they show uh, the mutual cooperation among them among the members of the colony in the social organization the every individual of the hive they show the uh, mutual cooperation means what there is a very much cooperation among each of us though they have the different functions they work together and that is what it is called as the social organization now in the group or the colony of the honey hives you will find there is a division of labor now, what is this division of labor Division of labor means what? The uh, members of a colony, the all members of the colony are divided into the different different work or the task. For example, there are uh, the, the some group of honeybees which are called as the workers. There are some group of uh, honeybees which are called as the drones, okay? meant for the reproduction purpose. And there is one queen which is also a female fertile. Is it clear? That is the uh, about the uh, members of that that is called as the division of labor
Now here we know that in a hive there are thousands of bees are present. In a hive there are thousands of bees are present. That is what they may range from fifty thousands to the one lakh or more than that. Is it clear? And there are different forms of uh, honey bees. I told. In a hive you will find there are different types of. That is what you are seeing on the screen. That is the worker. Okay, the workers are they are infertile females. Okay, the workers are infertile females. They are the females, but they are not capable of reproducing. Drones. These drones are the males. Okay, drones are the males, and queen is also a fertile female. Clear? These are the three. You can say the three forms of. We call it as the polymorphic also. Okay, polymorphic also. Now all these organisms, uh, see, or you can see on the screen, the, the different forms of the uh, honeybees in a hive. In the first film, I have told, uh, shown that is the drone. Is it clear? Then the queen is there. Then the worker is there. Then he, I have taken a specific example of a species that is the Apis mellifera. Apis mellifera. Again, the same thing. That is the drone is there, queen is there, and the workers. These are the three forms of the honey hive. Now here I told in the that's what the uh, polymorphism, okay, the polymorphism. The honeybees show the polymorphism. Now what is this polymorphism? The polymorphism is the existence of several morphological forms. Okay, polymorphism. Poly means many. Morphism means external characters or the features. That is what in the honeybees they are the polymorphic insects, social and polymorphic insects. Means what? The individuals of a honeybees have the several morphological forms and separate functions in a species, and they have separate functions in a species. Is it getting polymorphism? Is the existence of several morphological characters? Okay, several morphological forms and separate functions in a species. I told the workers have the different functions. The drones have a different function. Queen has a different functions, and not only their functions, they differ in their morphological features also. Is it clear? And we say that there is another term is uh, uh, coming here on the screen that is called as the eusociality. Is it clear? The honeybees shows the eusociality. Now, what is this eusociality? You means true, the true social organization. Is it clear? The true social organization. That is the <clears throat> one queen and several drones and the tens thousands of worker bees are present together in a hive and each of them are so systematically organized in the hive and they are their function is so specific and so systematic that's why they are referred as a very a true social organizing insects. Now both the queen and the workers are diploid. Okay, the both the queen and the workers are the diploid, whereas the drones, which are males, they are haploid. Okay, and which one is called as a, a strong um, organizing colony? The one which is having the abundant number or the maximum number of workers in the colony. If any of the colony which has a presence of many number of uh, drones. Okay, which are male, uh, sorry, uh, the colony which is having a many number of workers, okay, many number of workers, they are the infertile females. If they are present in a more number, then the colony is said to be a very, very organized or it is called to be a healthy colony. Now, the, we will go for the specific types of these honeybees, is it clear? That is, the queen bee is there. Worker bees are there, drones are there. Now, queen bee is a single matured queen, okay, which is uh, having present in the hive. Okay. Now, if you compare to the uh, this one, the other uh, honeybees, for example, the workers or the drones, the size of the queen will be nearly 2.5 times longer than that of the worker bee. Is it clear? Comparing to the worker bee, the size of the queen bee is more that is what it is nearly two and a half times more than the uh, worker bee 
then it is characterized by a certain characters you will find that there is a long tapering abdomen or well proportioned body short and a golden colored wings and a color of the legs they are 2.8 times heavier than the worker bees see here what you have to need to remember that is a queen is a single bee which is present in the hive you will not find a number of uh, queen bees is it clear that's what only one adult queen bee will be there so that will be again it will be larger compared to the worker how much larger it is it is two and a half times larger than the worker bees then apart from that not in the size in the weight also it is 2.8 times heavier then it is having a sting which is sting is present to the almost all but the sting is quite curved in case of the queen and the um, which is present at the tip of the abdomen okay which is present at the tip of the abdomen and there is you will find a little bit of swelling like things that is called as the ovipositor okay you know that the queen is a fertile female it will be the one who will be laying the eggs so her duty is to just get fertilized every time and then keep on going uh, laying the eggs so there is a ovipositor at the base of the um, sting now the function what is the function of the queen the main function of the queen is the reproduction okay she is the only fertile she is the only fertile female in the entire hive so the queen will be uh, the main function of her uh, is that reproduction she lay the eggs about 1000 to 2000 eggs every day okay on each day or every day she will be laying the eggs there's thousand to thousands of eggs that is depending upon the uh, seasonal variation and seasonal factors the eggs may be either fertilized or unfertilized we will go to this one afterwards now the her duty is she is laying the eggs now we know that she don't know whether they are fertilized or unfertilized okay so that's what the she has to lay the eggs now <clears throat> depending on the type of food required or supplied to the newly developed larvae by nursing workers the eggs may develop either queen or the workers now what happens see that is the female queen or the queen lay the eggs every day 1000 to 2000 eggs now the eggs may be fertilized or unfertilized now the eggs which are fertilized the egg one which gets hatched uh, comes out it may become queen or it may become worker it may become queen or it may become worker now how it is that the food which is supplied to the newly developed larvae see here that egg will be hatched egg will develop into the larvae now it needs the food now the food which it gets from the other the members of the hive that is either if it is getting the a uh, royal jelly okay that is one one food is there so which type of food the larvae gets based on that the uh, egg one will become either queen or the workers the drones are male okay the drones sorry the drones or males are produced by the uh, laying of unfertilized eggs now the female has laid the two types eggs that is one is the fertilized egg another one is the unfertilized eggs now the fertilized eggs may become a queen or may become a worker but the unfertilized eggs will get converted or becomes into the drones that is the males is it clear that is we call it as parthenogenetically the development of the egg one without the fertilization of the egg is called as parthenogenetic uh, parthenogenesis so the drones are produced parthenogenetically the queen deposits each egg in a cell prepared uh, by the workers bees now after three days the eggs hatch into the small larvae the larvae which fed with a special food called a royal jelly develops into queen the royal jelly is a high proteinous substance produced by the a uh, hypopharyngeal glands of the workers see here i was telling you that the egg which is uh, laid by the honey bee honey queen honey bee is it clear may be fertilized or unfertilized if it is a fertilized it may become queen or it may become 
worker based on what based on the type of food it gets then apart from that the unfertilized eggs will develop into the male and that phenomenon is called as parthenogenesis the male develops by parthenogenesis or they are parthenogenetically developed now after three days the eggs which are laid by the queen will hatch into a small larvae okay now the larvae which is fed with the special food okay all larvae will not get the same food some of the larvae are fed with the special food that is called as the royal jelly the one which gets the royal jelly will develop into the queen the royal jelly is a highly proteinous substance produced by the hypopharyngeal uh, glands of the worker the larva which is selected to become queen is taken before the third day of the development in a special chamber called queen's chamber now here the point is to be remembered the last one which is there in your screen that is the larva which is selected to become a queen is taken before the third day very important okay that is once if it is fed it is to be taken they will select the workers will select which one is to be made queen or which is to be taken as a worker you know the one which has to be selected as a queen is to be taken uh, into the queen's chamber okay into the queen's chamber uh, before the third day okay before the third day of development is it clear that is what the uh, procedure for the becoming a queen now the queen lives 5 to 8 years on average and her fertility decreases with the increased age so the life span of the queen is 8 uh, years okay that's what may be between ranging between the 5 to 8 years but the strength or the life of the fertility of this uh, queen honeybee decreases with the increased age is it clear that's what the sting of the queen serves an ovipositor for laying the eggs i told you and also used for defense the sting is used only when uh, seam meets 